Hi there, my name is Nick Mason. I'm a UK immigration lawyer. The purpose of this video is to provide a very brief overview of the requirements for individuals applying to naturalise as British citizens. There are several different ways of applying to become a British citizen, and here we're going to be focusing on citizenship via naturalisation, the main requirement of which is to have settled in the UK after a period of lawful residence. The rules on naturalisation can be complex, and here we're going to be sticking to the basics. If you want me to check your application prior to submission, then get in touch to arrange a consultation. Otherwise, check out the Edgewater Legal YouTube channel for more in-depth videos, in particular on the completion of the online form and in relation to the supporting evidence that you require to upload in these types of applications. Now, let's have a look at those 10 eligibility requirements. One of the main requirements to naturalise as a British citizen is to have lived in the UK on a lawful basis for a period of time. That's usually five years, although this can be reduced to three years if the applicant is married to a British citizen. During the five year qualifying period, you should not have been absent from the UK for more than 450 days. If you are relying on the three year qualifying period, then that maximum absence number is 270 days. In both cases, you should not usually have been absent from the UK for more than 90 days in the 12 months running up to the submission date of your online application. Note that if you have been absent for more than the maximum permitted days, then you can ask for discretion to be exercised for reasons given in the guidance. Unless married to a British citizen in the 12 months up to the date of your application, you must have been free of any restrictions on your permission to be in the UK. For most people, that will mean holding settled status or indefinite leave to remain status for at least 12 months prior to submitting the online application. However, applicants who are applying on the basis of marriage to a British citizen don't have to wait for that 12 month period to elapse and they can apply for citizenship as soon as they have acquired their indefinite leave to remain or settled status. You must have been present in the UK at the beginning of your qualifying period. So for most people, that will be the five year period. And for spouses or people applying on the basis of being a spouse of a British citizen, that'll be three years. So for example, if your application for citizenship is submitted on the 1st of September, 2022, that means that if you are relying on the five year qualifying period, you need to have been physically present in the UK on the 2nd of September, 2017, that's the first day of the five-year qualifying period. You must have passed the life in the UK test unless you are exempt, for example, on medical grounds or for reasons of age. There's a book to help you with the test. If you've taken it before, for example, in a previous application for indefinite leave to remain, then you don't have to retake it. You must have met the English language requirement. You'll meet this automatically in a range of circumstances. For example, if you have a bachelor's or higher degree from a UK university or you're a national of an English majority English speaking country as specified by the Home Office, or if you've met the requirement in a previous visa application. If you don't meet the requirement automatically, then you have to take a specified test with a provider specified by the Home Office and provided uh, that test result with your application. In order to apply for British citizenship, you should be of good character. The Home Office provides guidance on what it considers to be conduct which falls foul of the good character requirement, and it is quite broad. So I would recommend anyone who is applying to read that guidance before making a declaration that you are of good character in the application form. You must intend to make the UK your permanent home after acquiring British citizenship. This means that if you intend to naturalise and then move permanently to another country, then you may fall foul of this requirement. You must provide the details of two individuals who can confirm your identity, who you've known for over three years and are of good character. Further details of the referee's requirement are set out in a detailed blog post on our website they will need to provide certain biographical details for you to enter into the form and sign a declaration which you will upload with your supporting documents. 
There is a requirement for applicants to have full capacity, meaning that they are not of unsound mind when they apply. Although the vast majority of applicants will meet this requirement, have a look at the naturalisation policy guidance for circumstances in which this requirement can be waived. Finally, individuals applying to naturalise must be over 18 years of age. It is possible to apply to become a British citizen if you are under 18, but this will normally be done via registration or another type of application. So those are the 10 eligibility requirements to naturalise as a British citizen. I hope you found this video useful. Remember to like and subscribe for more immigration and citizenship videos and get in touch if you need more help with your application.